in four Americans who are 65 or older experience a fall-related injury that requires emergency attention. That happens every 11 seconds in this country. Joe Hickman reports on a new effort getting medical alert devices to people in Webster County for free so they can call for help when they need it. It has its own microphone so it can pick my voice up and I can tell them what I need. By now, most people are familiar with the medical alert pennants invented in 1972 and made popular by the I've fallen and can't get up TV commercials, a catchphrase that usually gets a laugh. But the need for the devices is there. For the most part, you know, they think, oh, I'm, I'm okay, it's never going to happen to me. Well, it does happen. It's the family that says, you will have this, because they are more concerned the fact that the elderly person is going to get themselves in trouble. Chuck Picard is a member of the Webster County Senior Services Board, which oversees a special tax created in the county. With the purpose of assisting seniors staying in their home as long as they want, rather than going to the nursing home or the assisted living. And for the past six years, that Webster County Board has given out 250 free medical alert pendants to qualifying county residents age 60 or older, a potential life-saving service that connects users to 911 with one push of a button. You have to have a landline that we can hook this to. This will work within 600 feet of the unit, so you can go pretty much around your whole, all your property. The units would normally cost a Webster County resident about $250 if bought on their own, but they're free to county residents who meet certain criteria. If you go out every Friday night with your wife and go dancing, no, you probably don't qualify, okay? You don't, you don't really need this thing. It's, if they live alone and they feel have any insecurity uh, in their homes where they may fall at some point in time, uh, this is something good for them. The applications are on file right here at the Senior Center. It has a place on there for your list of phone numbers that you would like to be called in case you do have a fall. Most people are embarrassed to call 911. They would rather have a family member or a friend or neighbor called. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.